Hello everybody, this is Dandy the Artsy Rose, and welcome back to Philippe's main story. Uh, so, I am... Um... You remember that part in the game where I had a... You remember that part of the game where I didn't get that one line? Well, I'm at that point now. Shall we proceed? I could feel the grass at my back and the warm body at my side. This is what happiness is. You like the night sky, don't you, princess? Yes. Don't you think it looks like the gemstones up there? Yes, it does. His voice was so comforting as it gently resonated within me. Say, Philippe. Hmm? I wanted to learn more about Philippe and asked him what was on my mind. Why did you invite me here? I thought I saw the tips of his ears go red because I want to share as many things that I can find to be beautiful or fascinating with you as possible. I want to show you the things I have seen these last 1,000 years while I, while I still can. I want to share them with you too. Thank you for me. I'm a lucky girl. Your love runs so deep. I am jealous. Let your thoughts slipped out unintentionally, and I clapped my hands over my mouth. I looked over at Philippe Brunas. I'm sure that you will laugh deeply as well, Princess. I was facing up, and a soft tear fell against my forehead. I hope so. The memories are so fuzzy. I thought at first that I must have been a terribly cold person. When the right one for you turns up, you won't ever forget them. If you did, then they can't then they can't have been your true love. He told me that everything would be fine as his fingers seemed to fumble a bit while he combed them through my hair. How happy would I be if you were that person? <sighs> well that's that for the moment. Until we get the mystical ending. I am Jody the Artsy Rose, and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye!